Good evening, and welcome to A Cup of Tea with James Lee. I'm James Lee, and here with me tonight is Kenneth Frawley. Welcome. Hello. Hello. So, can I call you Kenneth? Or? Uh, sure. Everybody just refers to me normally as Frawley. Okay, so. That's Grant. <laughs> okay, so I guess Frawley. Yeah, that's Grant. I don't know how it started, but it's Grant. Oh, all right. Well, Frawley, um, how long have you been teaching here at Art Institute? Uh, nearly seven years, yeah. So, why, why here, though? I mean, you have so well, many different mad. schools. It's an art school. <laughs> Right? Yeah. And, you know, um, uh, an art person, an individual, since the get-go. And oh. um, it was writing, and then I went into, oh, I was fascinated by cinema. Mm -hmm. And then, so I got into that, but then um, I was teaching, and then someone mentioned, I always wondered, where the bloody hell is this art institute? You know, I thought, <laughs> I would see these, po these signs. You know? Yeah. And then, then I got a contact from somebody, and then asked me to send my CV over. And I did, and then 20 minutes later, um, the director rang me. 20 minutes? 20 minutes, I, could, I couldn't believe it. So, that's yeah, an impressive CV, of course, no yeah. kidding. <laughs> but, um, so, yeah. he asked me to come around, and then I did, and I took a tour. And I remember what was so impressive about that first initial meeting was that I could smell the food coming from the Culinary Institute oh. that's part of it, right? And I thought, that's brilliant. You know, you've got painters, you've got all these people. You mm. know, you don't have, the, the student body here are not, um, compri it's not comprised of um, accountants, you know, any bean counters, all these tossers. I don't want anything to do with them. Yeah. Uh, you've got artists all around you. And then yeah. you have food. I mean, it was brilliant. Wait, so what exactly inspired you to become a teacher? Well, again, the question is yeah, the art. obvious. Yeah. No, it's obvious. Um, you know, the, the sort of undereducated populace. Mm. It's really quite sad. I mean, you know, ask, ask any, you know, normal student here mm -hmm. um, who was the enemy in the War of 1812. They can't answer that. Yeah, I mean, I can't answer that either, so. Well, that's tragedy. <laughs> you know, so I have a duty to do, to fulfill. So, I'm, is that why you kind of teach uh, sociology at this school? Yeah, I don't really teach sociology. How would you label it as? Well, no, no, no. Um, they contacted me because they wanted me to teach writing courses, English and mm -hmm. creative writing, all these things, right? And, of course, uh, my background is communication arts. And so um, I was teach teaching these sort of uh, culture classes as well. So it's culture, anthropology, if you will, right? Yeah. That I got into with, uh, if you would say, sociology, but it's not really. It's more, you know, the sort of broad spectrum of culture and all, uh -huh. its, all its branches. So, um, what exactly do you have your students do so that they have that, um, I don't want to say imagination, but they, they can capture that vision? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you asked. That's, that's mm -hmm. one of my sort of, um, well, I don't like that term, mission statement, right? It's yeah. rubbish. You know, <laughs> I mean, any corporation puts out a mission statement. No, no, no. Um, you know, my objective here is to instill curiosity, right? Mm -hmm. Because if you say, well, if I were to ask you, you know, um, you know the capital of... Um, Albania, okay, capital city, right? So that you can't answer it. Yeah. And you know there are these things that we keep on shelves, mm -hmm. and you open them up, and they've got lots of pages in there, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, most students aren't curious enough to find out about these things. Go and find an atlas, you know, just pick mm. it up and open it, out of their own curiosity, right? Yeah. And so my thing is, you know, there was this, um, uh, oh, workshop uh, mm -hmm. during the faculty sort of, uh, there's a faculty training week during At quarters. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I wasn't able to attend because I was back in Wales and uh, during that break, three mm -hmm. weeks. So um, when I got back, I, I learned about it and they had um, a guy from the UK. Um, his name is Ken Robinson, Dr. Ken Robinson. He's an mm -hmm. educator and he was talking and they, um, his, it was videotaped, put on YouTube and I watched it. His thing is about uh, instilling creativity mm -hmm. in the students, right? Okay. He says that schools are, are not emphasizing it enough. I agree, however, that's not the root of the problem. Curiosity leads to inspiration and creativity. Mm. So, I mean, what exactly have you learned about American culture? Just, I mean, teaching here and just being here for all this whole time. <laughs> well, I've always had, you know, back and forth relationship with you with the U.S. Yeah. Um, but I've learned a lot. Do you, I mean, you know, I've learned now to say, you know, many things, right? It's like, instead of saying, you know, grab a bite uh, to eat, you say, get your grub on, right? Oh, I didn't um, know that. So. Yeah, and recently yeah. I've learned, uh, oh, you got to give them props. I said, Sorry, what, props for the set, whatever? And they said, no, 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 proper respect. Said, oh, okay, brilliant. 
Um, oh, that's it makes me laugh, all these great things. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm absorbing it all. I'm, I'm a sponge for it. And mm -hmm. to, to answer to your first question, I teach my children, my kids, the students, right, mm -hmm. to be sponges. Uh, so they can absorb all the... Well, you know, yeah. the, human, the human brain only, um, you know, uh, scientists have concluded that we only use 10% of our matter, mm -hmm. right? And, you know, you think about it, um, there are some people out there, you know, um, yeah. Palins and bushes, if you will, <laughs> that don't even use 10%. Yeah. Right? So I'm sorry. I'm cracking the whip. You've got to use your, your, your sponge. Mm -hmm. Have you taught international students here at all? Cool. All the time. Yeah, what do you mean? No, it's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> yes, many internationals. In fact, they buddy up with me a lot. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I mean, are, they're a lot more different than people from here, right? I mean, when you're teaching them? Yes. <laughs> That's true. Well, they, they would be, wouldn't they? They, they? they come from a different culture. Yeah. Right? yeah. And so they understand I'm sensitive to that and, and respectful of it. And, you know, so they send me emails and text messages, all that. Oh. And I'm happy for that. Okay. I mean, occasionally you'll find that they have really strong biases, right? I mean... That's true. I mean, I remember one time, I think in your class, uh, someone didn't uh, want to do a presentation about Pakistan or something, so you made them do that? That's right, yeah. yeah. I mean, what, are you mad? You can't, you can't just say, well, you know, you had to do, one of the projects was, uh -huh. you know, I assign you a country and you have to research it and create a visual essay on that, right, for three and a half yeah, minutes. Yeah, exactly. And uh, just tell us about that place, that country, its culture, mm -hmm. in imagery, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and it's brilliant, it's a little short little film. Well. Uh, he said, whatever you assign, don't assign me um, anything in the Middle East. And I said, what? You can't have this narrow-minded focus, right? Mm -hmm. You can't be biased. That's it. That's why there's so much strife in the world, and it's just flat-out ignorant. Yeah. So I said, no, you have Abu Dhabi. That's it. <laughs> End of story. Okay. So you just pretty much gave him that one thing he didn't want. That's, I tell all students, yeah. they have, they, there's no negotiating any uh, grade. Mm -hmm. it, the grade is earned. Mm -hmm. That's it. Does this, I mean, teaching here, does it ever make you want to go back to Wales and just teach over there? Well, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> um, you know, when I, I, I got back recently, um, and, you know, when I land, I always think, oh, God, not again, you know. <laughs> but, you know, um, mm -hmm. no, it's a brilliant place. And, but, so, I'm happy, you know, being sort of, uh, uh, having dual citizenship and all that. It's great. Mm. Um, and you, you also mentioned that you do a lot of, or I mean, you've studied cinema and whatnot. Yeah, I did, yeah. So um, is there a big difference between American cinema and Oh, uh, gosh, cinema? come on. Night and day. <laughs> I mean, seriously, really, there is. You know what I mean? Um, America makes blockbusters. Yeah. End the story, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, in France, they make a, quite a different film. You uh -huh. know what I mean? Chateau de Mamere, things like that, right? I mean, these films are more sort of down-to-earth human sort of modest, if you will, and they're lovely tales, you know what I mean? Mm. So. And you've also wrote uh, a lot of scripts, right, if I'm I correct. did, yeah, yeah. Um, have you, I guess, produced any? You know, I've done meeting, after meeting, after meeting. Uh -huh. You know, it's, uh, they've, you know, uh, wined and dined me, it's really grand, but then we start up at the same place every time. It's ridiculous. So, so. You, it doesn't really go anywhere. No, they just sit on shelves here now. One's coming out, though. I have a book coming out on screenwriting with the entire screen, uh, screenplay in it, yeah. Oh, is this school going to use that book? No, no, no. no. Oh. I, do, I, I, don't, I, I wouldn't presume to push that on the school, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. I'm just mm -hmm. doing it, you know, one's coming out. Mm. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, and do you know around when it's going to come out? Or? Well, you know, the plan is for uh, just before the holiday. You know, <laughs> you know that the, those marketers. Yeah, yeah. Wow, so... What really just pushed you to write this book, though? I mean, because for me, I, I can't write at all, and I, I have no inspiration at all whatsoever. And I mean, you've been writing since like oh, you know, whatever. To yeah, kids in the bedroom. Yeah, yeah. but so you know, I was fascinated by storytelling, right? Uh, and I will tell you that the American writer Mark Twain, mm -hmm. when I was a lad, um, he he absolutely floored me. I thought he was brilliant. I, I kid you not. I, I I thought he was better than Charles Dickens. Wow. I kid you not. Um, and then, of course, his story, the mis well, as I got older, his mm -hmm. story, The Mysterious Stranger, yeah. really floored me. Well, I mean, thank you so much for coming. Oh, no worries. Again, thank you. Is that it? That's all yes. you need? Yes. So, right. um, um, you know, this was Kenneth Frawley with me here today. Join me next time on A Cup of Tea with James Lee. I'm James Lee, and have a good day.